Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, it's me again Chelsea and today I'm starting another weekly reading vlog. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to end this weekly reading vlog because on Sunday we're going to see my dad and then on Monday I won't have any Wi-Fi. <laughs> So we're gonna see how we're gonna upload this, but I thought I'm actually gonna start this vlog on time Hopefully I'm actually gonna talk to you a little bit more, but um, I actually have Something to unbox and they seem to have listened to everyone saying Stop sending multiple boxes because this actually has my address on the back of it Which I'm not going to show you obviously, but this actually just came like this rather than being in another box so we're gonna see if that's actually made any impact at all so we're gonna unbox that and then we're gonna talk about my reading plans for the rest of the week okay so i'm in it took me a little bit longer than it usually does but we have the wrapped present like i say every time you get a locked library it is like it is christmas i paid for the subscription myself but i just like to point it out because it's always wrapped let's see what the book is oh it's very shiny Oh, it is the one that I thought it was. Look at it. It's so shiny. So this is A River of Golden Bones by A.K. Mulford. A curse to break, a kingdom to save. How shiny is that? That is not the standard cover, but look at these sprayed edges as well. How stunning are they? They are so pretty. And of course we have gorgeous foiling underneath. Wow, that is insane. Very, very pretty indeed. And then we've just got yellow, mustardy, end papers, and then a bound in author letter with a digital signature, which is the same for every single locked library edition. So if you like real signatures, this probably won't be the subscription for you because you don't get real signatures. You just get author letters that are bound into the book but I kind of prefer that because I I have many author letters for many books but because they are obviously loose I put them in a folder and I never see them again whereas this time when I read the book I can just read the author letter as well and the lot library editions come with ribbon bookmarks which you can just vaguely make make out here while wow, talking so this says, a sleeping curse, a fallen court, a secret twin. Twins, Kala and Briar, have spent their entire lives hiding from the powerful sorceress who has destroyed their kingdom, and from the humans who don't know they are wolves. Each twin has their own purpose in life. Briar's is to marry the prince of an ally pack and save the golden court. Kala's purpose is to remain a secret, her twin's shadow, the backup plan. No one knows who Kala truly is except for her childhood friend and sister's betrothed, the distractingly handsome Prince Grey. But when Kala and Briar journey out of hiding for Briar's wedding, all of their well-made plans go awry. The evil sorceress is back with another sleeping curse for the last heir to the Golden Court. Kala must step out of the shadows to save her sister, her kingdom and her own legacy. Continuing to hide as a human and denying who she truly is, Kala embarks on a quest across the realm, discovering a whole world she never knew existed. Outside the confines of rigid wolf society, Kala begins to wonder who could she be if she she dared to try. Full of adventure, love, gender exploration and self-discovery, a river of golden bones follows Kala's journey through treacherous wolf, wolf kingdoms, monster filmed realms and the depths of her own heart in this thrilling romantic fantasy. And again with the romance. This is the thing that kind of just makes me rethink my subscriptions if I'm honest. So there are content warnings as well for this. It's death, loss, blood, violence, fire, transphobia, misgendering as well as sexually explicit scenes. So just bear that in mind if you're going into this book. So that is this month's Lock Library book. Um, as you know I, do, I no longer do book box battles which I used to unbox them all and rate them and stuff but there's no point really. So I'm waiting for Illumicrate and Fairy Loot to come through. Hopefully they arrive before um, before I go to see my mum, but we'll, we'll see. I'm not too sure. Um, so reading plans for this week. I did pretty well last week. I gave myself a short book, an audio book, and a physical book to finish. I didn't finish the physical book that I picked originally. Instead, I finished 
uh, House in the Cerulean Sea. So I still, oh gosh, me throwing everything around. Still have this top priority to finish physically, but this week I have got my Sphinx picks as my priority read. So currently I'm reading Death Rider. It's okay, I'm enjoying it. Um, and then I think I have a few more to go after that. And then I just need to make sure that I put my picks forward for my team. So yeah, that is my, <laughs> that is my priority. Because I've just had a lot on. But that's fine. Everyone's had a lot on. Everyone has had a lot on. So I have got, where is my collection? Oh, it's here. I'm already in it. Ah, didn't mean to press that button. So I have got then one, two, three, three, four, five left to read, but they're short in theory, so I should be able to just get through them. So yeah, Death Rider is the one I'm currently reading and I'm enjoying it, and then I will move on and just work down that list pretty much. And then we'll we'll go from there. I won't be talking a lot about them obviously here because it's not the time or place, but there will be a video going up later this month we're still ironing out the details as to when it'll go up this month but there will be a video going up where we all film a video i think with the team's picks so we all get to put forward a finalist i think or a semi-finalist and then we vote from there so i will let you know more about the picks and stuff when that video goes up so yeah that's the long and short of it i'm not really expecting to do much else this week i have got three days in the office i think so tuesday wednesday thursday thursday we're in the office because we're going straight to our christmas party afterwards um we're getting pizza and we're going to an escape room so to me that's pretty perfect actually um no no need to dress up fancy or anything I can literally just put on a Christmas jumper and a pair of jeans and I will be good to go and that's kind of my aim because I'm not really a dressy person I have to be honest and then Friday I'll be working from home so in the evenings I think Jack's working nights most evenings so I will be able to just come up here sit edit videos I've filmed pretty much I've filmed most of them. I think I've got three videos left. Yeah, three, four. Four because I haven't filmed my Sphinx video, but I've got like three or four videos left to film for the tail end of Countdown to Christmas. So yeah, I will be editing this evening and scheduling a load of them and then we will go from there, really. <laughs> I don't know much else if I'm honest. I would like to get everything scheduled before the end of Saturday. That is my goal. My goal is to have everything filmed, edited, uploaded, scheduled, scheduled on Twitter or X or whatever it's called, ready to just go um, so that I can just enjoy the Christmas break. I don't have to think about anything. And then when we come back for that like weird period between Christmas and New Year I can start thinking about filming or I can put it off until the very first week of January because I'm also off then so from Monday I will be off for three weeks and I'm so excited <laughs> I cannot wait to have three weeks off and to just well we won't be like monging the whole time but I mean, I'm excited to have some plans for some exciting things and then also to actually have some time to just chill and then some time to just sort and tidy and not feel as rushed because since we've been in this house we haven't really had a big chunk of time just me and jack to go through the house to sort it out to get rid of stuff when we moved in we had a week off but when we moved in jack was very poorly so it was just a case of get everything in the house and we will sort it when he gets better and we're still kind of in that position now so it's yeah we just need to pull it all together and make the house finished pretty much and that is that is the aim that is the aim so i'm gonna leave this here carry on working and then this evening edit and read and all that fun stuff so i'm not sure how many reading oh and I, the other book i'm reading is one for my enemy by olivia blake which is my audiobook and i'll give you an update about that now so 
but not eyelash on my phone. I have got 12 hours and 5 minutes left, apparently. So that's not too bad, is it, really? I've listened to almost 4 hours of it. But I'm also listening to it at 1.7 speed. So that 12 hours probably isn't right. Because unlike Audible, when I use my library app, it doesn't count. It doesn't shrink the time down when I speed it up. So we'll see. I'm enjoying it. It's actually, it's alright. Um, the act thing is still bugging me so in between like every few so every scene is just a case of you know they say like act whatever and it's it's quite constant and it's a little bit annoying but it's fine it's just because i'm listening to the audiobook that's literally the only reason that's annoying me but otherwise it's fine i'm enjoying it it's good obviously you can already see the romance one of them know who knows who the other one is, the other one doesn't know. So it's very much like, oh, how much can you fake being in love with someone? Do, 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 do. It's going to end in tears, I know it is, but it's it's one of the books that I've got on my shelf. So it actually means that I am knocking a book off my TBR, just not off my currently reading list. So yeah, but we're going to work on cutting off my currently reading list as well after this week. So we're going to do that. So I'm going to leave this here. And I'll come back and talk to you tomorrow. I'll see you then. Bye. Hello everyone and happy Tuesday. So I have literally just got back in from work and I have a very fun package to show you. So this is from Your Paper Quest. They put out a tweet, post, whatever you call them now on Twitter, X, whatever, um, asking for reviewers who wanted to get one of their past boxes and I put my name into the hat and they picked me and they said we'll send you a box so this is what I've got it's got my name on it it's very very cool so this is a monthly subscription box they provide two self-published books every single month and they're roughly about 500 pages in content the theme changes every single month like most subscription boxes do and you get two books like I've already said but also some bookish bits so that could range from a bookmark or notes or anything like that so smaller items which is very cool because as most of you probably know I have stopped receiving my full boxes from Illumicrate and Fairy Loot because I was finding that I was getting too much stuff and I had nowhere to put it so the fact that this just comes with like bookmarks which are a very usable item or notes from the author is very cool for me and I really enjoy that sort of aspect. I think that's pretty cool. You also get an invitation to join their book club where you can meet other subscribers and ask questions for the authors and they also have monthly interviews for their authors with a bit more of a personalised experience. Unfortunately this is UK based only but if you are in the UK might be worth checking them out. So let's have a look and see what's inside because I'm very excited. I also like that it can just come through your letterbox and you don't have to be in for the posting. <laughs> right, let's, oh, oh, I found some papery bits. Right, let's just, oh no, it's a full papery bit. Okay, hang on. We're, we're flipping the box over to try and see what is coming out of said box. What is this? Oh, I think this is a full-on um, spoiler sheet. So we will read this in a second. That's very cool. I, am, I appreciate that as well. Oh, I've got other things. Oh, wow. okay. This is very exciting. What is this? So the first one is The Master of Demise by Nadija Mujajic. I'm so sorry. I'm probably butchering that. But this is the cover and the author. So you can see it for yourself. Oh, and we've got, oh wow, okay, so we have got a little um, author letter here with the sticker on, the, well, the logo on the back, I should say, and then look at this, it's got like a little golden, almost like a golden ticket in it that says it is endorsed by us, that's very cool, and then we also have a little bookmark with a quote from this specific author in there as well. So this says, Mitchell Wagner had it all. A prestigious career as a professional, a loving wife and a reputation as a brilliant academic. But when a student takes his own life and Mitch is blamed, his life quickly spirals out of control. As his marriage falls apart and his job is put on the line, Mitch finds himself descending into a dark and dangerous world. 
Haunted by his past and fueled by his own narcissism, Mitch makes a series of increasingly desperate choices that lead him down a path of violence and betrayal. When another person on campus mysteriously dies, Mitch becomes the prime suspect, but the truth behind the killings is far more twisted than anyone could have imagined. In this gripping psychological thriller, author Nadija Maju Ejik, I'm so sorry, takes readers on a heart-pounding journey through the mind of a man consumed by his own ego and the dark secrets that he thought he had buried. With twists and turns that will keep you on the edge of your seat until the very end, The Master of Demise is a chilling tale of obsession, revenge, and the terrifying consequences of our actions. So this is obviously a more psychological thriller crime, which is not usually my bag at all, but like the subscription says, they are pushing you to read outside of your comfort zone and to try and introduce you to fantastic stories, whatever the genre. So that is very cool. That is book number one. So book number two then is Safe and Sound, a romantic suspense novella by Rachel Bowdler. Okay. So we'll, we'll see what, as I always say, oh look, we have another author letter, another author letter and then another, oh, that's so cool. And then we have another little bookmark as well with another quote on the back. This is very, very cool. So this says, when nowhere is safe, where do you turn? As the lead singer of popular pop rock band Gen Y, Ruby Bright has always hidden her struggles with fame and impressive management behind fla flashy outfits and feigned confidence for the sake of the fans. But when her tour bus crashes and her best friend, bandmate, and according to the public, boyfriend is killed, she loses her only pillar of support and, is, and everything is turned upside down. It's only made worse when her security team believe that a crazy stalker who has been sending cryptic letters for over a year is at the root of it all. The elevated threat to a grief-stricken and recovering Ruby leaves them no choice but to send her to a secluded safe house in Cumbria, where she can be protected 24 hours a day until her best friend's killer is brought to justice. When entitled celebrity Ruby Bright walks through retired witness protection officer Shay O'Connor's doors, though, Shay is less than impressed with the new guest seeking refu refuge in the farmhouse she now offers out to people in need of security, especially when cabin fevered and traumatised Ruby proves a challenge in every aspect. As Ruby navigates her grief through, grief through reckless, reckless behaviour, Though, Shay begins to realise that she may have more in common with the pop star than she once thought. Nobody is, nobody is more surprised than her, then, when an unexpected connection begins to develop between them. All sense of security is broken when Ruby receives a new threat from her stalker. When Ruby is taken from the house by her security team, a chilling discovery is made. With Shay the only person Ruby can truly trust, the two embark on a thrilling game of cat and mouse with the people trying to take Ruby down. But can Shay fix past mistakes and protect Ruby, or are the people behind all of Ruby's recent misfortunes too powerful to stop? Okay, so we have got an LGBTQIA romance, queer romance, which is very, very cool. And uh, they're both obviously crime, so that must be the theme for this month. Just check I've not missed anything there. No, so let's have a look at this spoiler then. So this month's theme was unmasking the truth so this was the november book box and it says as the weather turns and the cozy reading season arrives we thought what better than to cur curl up with some thrillers our first story is master of demise a page turner in every way we are given a front row seat to an unreliable narrator's journey into madness one week in the life of Mitch, a university professor with something of a psychopathic streak, sees everything from adultery to murder and ma manipulation. Who the reader is always wondering is the particular master of his rapid demise, and does Mitch really have an enemy worse than himself? Our second story is Safe and Sound. We wanted to raise some heart rates with books like Master of Demise, but Safe and Sound does it in a completely different manner. With a beautiful and never overplayed love story between two very broken women at his at its heart, Safe and Sound keeps us, kept us on our toes as it unravels characters and conspiracies in equal measure. We had so many questions and comments for the authors, we're sure you will too. To ask these questions, check the QR code below, it links you to the virtual book club. This is where you and other subscri subscribers can discuss the books and hear from the authors, while also helping us shape the things we do with the Your Paper Quest in the, fa in the future via polls. And then they have a Twitter as well. 
and they have interviews on their YouTube as well. So that sounds really, really cool. I like that you have access to a book club as well, so you can read and talk to other readers about them. I like that the books are personalised with the golden thing, whatever that is. I think it's a sticker because it doesn't go through to the other side, so it must be a sticker. I really appreciate that. I love that it's indie. We love indie books here on this channel. And I just think that these are going to be two books I never would have picked up on my own. And that is exactly what Paper Quest aim to do. Like I said, I have been sent this. Um, so it has been gifted to me. But if you want to check them out, I will leave a link down below to the Twitter and see if you want to join in with the Paper Quest adventure. I'm sure that I will be checking them out again in the future and I'm very excited for this. So thank you very much to Ryan and Steve who are the two that mastermind this box. I'm very grateful for you sending me copies of these books and a copy of the box and I can't wait to try these books. So that is everything for this reading update so i've been reading um one for my enemy and it's heating up for sure i'm really enjoying it so there's that that's pretty cool um otherwise yeah that's pretty much it i haven't really done anything else i'm waiting for my tea to cook i've got a headache and i kind of just want to go to bed so we're going to uh just kind of curl up maybe watch some big bang theory and then i am going to go to bed and have an early night I think because that's what I'm feeling so I'm gonna leave this here hopefully I'll get some reading done in a bit um, but you know you can't really control when you feel sick so I'm um, yeah I'm gonna leave this here and come back tomorrow hopefully with a better update I'm in the office for the next two days as well so that's it's a bit of a bummer but it's fine it'll be fine but yeah I'm gonna leave this here I'll talk to you later Bye. Hello everyone and happy Saturday. So I have not spoken to you for a little while, I don't think. Again, I don't know how many times I've actually vlogged. So this is Saturday. I'm actually ending this vlog two days earlier than I should because, uh, well, it's my vlog. I can do, I can do what I want. Uh, but I'm ending it two days early because I am actually going to my dad's tomorrow and then from there we're going straight down to France. So I don't think I'll have any internet to upload a vlog in time so i'm gonna finish this so that i can edit it and get it all scheduled ready to go but i have some book mail to show you first none other than our monthly fairy loot and our monthly luma cray so let's open them because i need to open these before i film my final haul of 2023 which will be my final video my countdown to christmas series which will be going up on christmas eve so just say and make sure you're uh, following because that'll be coming soon. Now, I can't actually remember if it was this month, this month, this vlog where I opened my locked library, but that's come. So these are the final two books to come for the year, actually. I can't actually remember if I opened my locked library in this box, this vlog or my last one. But like I said, these are the last two books for the year for me to receive. So, trying to make sure I don't actually spoil myself again. This is the November theme, which is Artifacts of Power... No did I just say November? I mean December. Uh, this is Artifacts of Power, and I really like this little art card. That's quite sweet. And then we have got an author letter, and I'm still bitter about the fact we don't get bookmarks, but we're going to try and move on, because I just I mentioned that in the sub box video that I filmed, which I don't think you will have seen yet, but when you do you will see my frustration <laughs> oh these are like light pink is this the right way up no okay so we are upside down but that is fine we can turn that around ready three two one okay what have we got what the river knows by isabel ibanez ibanez i'm not sure if i'm saying that right this is not what the original cover is like at all actually but we have got some like light peachy pinky edges and then some stenciling as well printed on oh we've got foiling here oh we've got different right okay we've got a lot going on we've got a lot going on right okay so let's just take this bit off for a second we have got foiling all over this gorgeous book look at all of this the spine the back the front all of it is foiled that is 
absolutely stunning and then not only do we have that but we have the artwork that's actually on the author letter on this dust jacket as well which is very very cool i think i have seen this somewhere i believe the cover's like blue originally um not sure and then we've got these end papers with the gold bits all foiled which is very pretty is it the same on the other side yeah it's the same on the other side and is this signed i think that would be a digital signature that is just there so let's redress and then find out what this book is actually about there are some big names on this book blurbing it i've just seen stephanie garber we've got jodie pickle on the back elizabeth lim so there are some pretty big names if i do say so myself uh in the glittering society of 19th century buenos Aires, inez oliviera has everything except the one thing she really wants her parents who frequently leave her behind on their globe trotting adventures when she receives the terrible letter her parents have passed away in mysterious circumstances determined to uncover the truth she sets sail for their last port of call at cairo bringing only her sketch pads and an ancient ring that her father sent to her for safekeeping but upon her arrival in egypt the the ring flares with ancient magic and Inez is thrust into a treacherous game that could threaten her life and into the path of her new guardian's infuriatingly handsome assistant who seems determined to thwart her at every turn. The mummy meets death on the Nile in this lush historical fantasy set in 19th century Egypt filled with adventure, a rivals to lovers, romance and a dangerous race. And there's also a Rebecca Ross quote in there as well. So like I said, lots of biggish names actually featured in that book that does sound interesting the fact that it is um mentions the mummy really actually interests me because i loved that film growing up absolutely adored it so let's just look at the spoiler card quickly so this edition has a redesigned cover stencil spread edges reverse dust jacket art foiled and papers foiled artwork on the front and back of the hardcover bonus content and a digital signature so there's a lot going on in this book if i do say so so that's pretty cool let's just move this box out of the way because it needs to go straight downstairs to go into the recycling because i'm trying to get better at that otherwise i end up with boxes just like everywhere and now we've got a luma crate and i cannot remember what the theme for this month's box is but i can see the book oh it was the sci-fi ebook I believe this cover was originally like an orangey colour. Let's have a look. Also, guys, let me know down below in the comments if you'd prefer that if I did like monthly unboxings rather than just like including them in my vlogs. I don't know if that's something that you'd be interested in for me to do next year, but I'm thinking of content ideas ready for next year. So we... So we've got The Principle of Moments by Esme Jikirimi Pearson. I'm really sorry if I'm butchering that. Look at that. That is actually a very, very pretty cover. And then the edges have got these stars on, which are very pretty. And the back is just kind of a repeat of the front cover. Oh, wow. Oh, this is cool. I, they've done this for something. What have they done this for? Um, It's kind of... Maybe I've seen it before. Maybe it's a broken binding thing. I don't know. It's stabbing me. Um, but we have got this foiling on the front, which if you can't read what it says, because I surely can't, says courage is the only thing stronger than fear and love is the thread that holds the atoms of this universe together. Oh, very nice. Then we've got some end papers, which just kind of show maybe where they live, I would have thought. That kind of looks like that. And then the other side, oh, is different. That kind of looks like, uh, almost like the White House in DC. So that's very, very cool as well. And do we have a, we do have a signature, I can see it signature there we go so this says 6066 no 6066 in emperor thracin's brave new galaxy humans are not citizens but indentured laborers working to repay the debt they unwittingly incurred when they settled on garan a desert planet already owned by the emperor himself Asha Ikindel knows she's just another voiceless cog working the assembly lines that fuel his vast imperial war machine. Her only rebellion, studying stolen aeronautics manuals in the dead of night. But then a cloaked stranger arrives to deliver an impossible message and her life changes in an instant. 1812. Obi Amadi is done with time travelling. 
Never mind the fact he doesn't know how to cure himself of the temporal sickness he caught whilst anchoring his soul to Regency London, the one that unmakes him further with every jump, or if the prince he loves will ever love him back, or why his father disappeared, he is done, until he hears about the ghost of a girl in the British Museum, a girl from another time. When Obi's path tangles with ashes and a prophecy awakens in the cold darkness of space, they must voyage through the stars, racing against time, tyranny, and the legacy of three heroes, from an ancient religion that who may be awakening reincarnated in ways both beyond comprehension a love letter to black readers of science fantasy the principle of moments in a symphonic century spanning adventure and unmiss unmissable for fans of the spacefaring found family of becky chambers the alternative london of v e. schwab and the vir virtuosic climate craft of nk jemison sounds pretty cool huh i really like this like border outline as well i just I think it's really pretty so that sounds very good too so there you go those are the subscription box books for this month and that's 2023 done and dusted book wise really because i won't be getting any from my family for christmas so i will be saving up any other books that i buy or receive or anything like that from now on through 2024 yeah that sounded a bit weird. Reading update wise, I am, because I'm going to tell you what I plan to do now until the new year, because I will vlog when I come back. Um, but I don't think I'll be doing like full sitting down vlogging like this when I'm at my mum's house, purely because I just want to spend time with her and enjoy being at hers. And it sounds like she's got a very full itinerary and we're meeting her friends. So I need to be on top form, you know, to, I don't know, give off a great impression. <laughs> Uh, but reading wise I am still reading one for my enemy which I think is almost expired so maybe I need to renew that um, yeah I've renewed that that's cool uh, so I am reading one for my enemy I've got just under six hours left of it I am intrigued right okay so there's a twist that has happened I literally have this next to me it's like I planned this uh, there is a twist that happens in here where I currently am and I'm just I'm not sure about it and I'm not sure if it's gonna carry on the way I want it to I don't know I kind of there's an ending I'm hoping for and I really hope it happens because what happened did not deserve to happen to that certain character and if you've read this book you might understand what I'm on about but yeah so I plan to finish that I'm gonna finish combat codes I am taking with me um my kindle which I will be reading, obviously, Swift Boy books, hopefully. Um, I've got some little things to, like, finish up. I've got combat codes on my Kindle, so I'll be taking that and hopefully finishing that off on the during the Christmas break. And then I want to move on to Grievous Blood, which is the sequel, and The Bitter Crown as well. I've got to pack them up into, like, book sleeves or something to protect them. But, yeah, I plan on taking them with me, so I've got some physical books to read as well. But yeah, that's that's kind of it, really. Um, I've still got, obviously, some time when I come back and there are still books, plenty of books on my currently reading list that I want to finish. Hopefully, I'll be able to get some of them on my Kindle or I've already got some of them on my Kindle, so I'll be able to get through those. We'll see. But yeah, that is literally it. This will be the last vlog in my Countdown to Christmas series and then the next vlog won't be coming until New Year's day eve can't remember when i'd planned to finish up but that would literally be me finishing up the year and it's crazy because i can't believe we're at this point again really um but if you've enjoyed this vlog please give it a like really support me on my channel leave me a comment down below of something fun you did me i went and did my christmas party and i actually did a short um about that on this channel so you can see that if you want to go and watch that um but if you just want to leave me an emoji leave me any pizza emojis because that's what we did for our christmas party it was really good and a nice change actually from having like a full christmas dinner and if you want to see more of me please consider subscribing down below and ring that notification bell so you get notified every single time i upload new videos i'm still uploading every single day until christmas eve and i'm uploading a short slash reel every day until christmas day so make sure you're subscribed following my channels all that fun stuff because the content is still coming so yeah that is everything for this vlog i'll see you tomorrow for another video i hope you've enjoyed this and i hope you're having an amazing day
I'll see you tomorrow for another Countdown to Christmas video. Bye!